Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to F-Zero GX, the GameCube F-Zero, the very last one that ever came out. Unless Nintendo gives us a surprise thing because F-Zero X just released for the N64 online for the Switch. But yeah, I'm emulating this. I've never owned it, actually. So if it chugs along, let's hope that it doesn't. But it is a high power game, kind of. And I'm very curious about the story mode, which the N64 game did not have. So let's check it out. Black Shadow's disgrace. He failed in his last bid to win the Grand Prix and now has incurred the wrath of an evil villain. All right. Oh, cool. We get cutscenes and everything. How did I not know about this? Sonic Heroes all of a sudden. Black Shadow sounded nothing like I thought he would. And I don't know who that Raphael Ninja Turtle was, but anyway, Captain Falcon trains. Alright, so we don't even have to jump into the Grand Prix. Let's do this instead. Do we get another one? Aw, oh, yeah! This is so cool, man, in its own weird way. Star Fox could easily blend in with this. Going off of the Star Fox Grand Prix rumors and that ending in Star Fox Command that I just recently unlocked playing that game. The music. What does Captain Falcon got up his sleeve? Sweet. I can't believe they wrote lyrics to this. Get all capsules on the track and finish within 80 seconds. Alright. Let's see how it goes. I'll just go standard. I'm not messing with anything. All right, let's try this again. I failed, but I just need to dust off, get a feel for the controls a little bit. Oh yeah, we're doing much better. I can get that on one of the other two laps. Let's stick to one side this time. So as we know, these strips replenish the shields. We don't have boost power yet. That's a lap two thing. It's like a subdued version of F-Zero X. I know that makes no sense because the graphics are better, but at the same time, GameCube had like this polish over top of everything. Like I almost prefer the rigid, rigidity? That's not a word. The rigidness of the N64. Yeah, there's nothing to it. So it's the same deal though, very easy on the stick. Just like the N64, you don't want to smash that thing, otherwise you'll lose control. Alright, 15 tickets. Story Chapter 2, Goro the Vengeful Samurai has arrived to, for purchase. Okay, there's a shop and everything.
Alright, the cutscenes maybe are not that amazing, but at the same time, it's funny. Ah, man, I wanted to keep going and see more of this ridiculousness, but alright, let's see, where the heck is the shop? Well, let's buy this dude. I guess I just did. That's not what we meant to do with our tickets, but uh, I only have seven left, I see. Alright, we got a new car, I guess. That's how it works in this game. There's James McLeod, too. Twelve we need. I want to unlock him. Him and Biorex, who I just bought, are kind of my favorites, carrying over from N64. But I, I don't know where this mission thing is, so I guess we can't have an eight-minute video. Let me just double-check it didn't come in here. No. So I guess we'll do the Novice Grand Prix, the very first thing. First cup, whatever it is. I don't know, just like... Yeah, Pico's already unlocked. That's weird. I don't know where it is, that mission. Biorex we could do, but let's just stick to the man himself for this one. Ruby Cup. So it's not named after uh, the playing cards. Mute City, of course. Let's do it. Yeah, even the music's a little subdued compared to... It sounds like Wave Race Blue Storm, which would kind of make sense. Kind of a lower budget Nintendo project. Like, I still got the metal, sometimes techno ish, but mostly metal and rock undertones. But yeah, it's very subdued, which is just the GameCube theme. No, it's so stupid. I have, like, this weird thing with the GameCube anymore. But it's cool, man. I want to play this. And it's running pretty smooth. I had to bump it down. It was at 720p, but I just put it to the native 480 that the GameCube is by default. Because my laptop can't handle this game boosted. And therefore, I can't probably widescreen it either. So we're sticking with the 4-3 ratio. Feels good, though. Y is boost. We got a shoulder attack. We got the usual spin that we used a lot in Death Race on F-Zero X. Nothing to it. It seems like the novice rubber band mechanics or lack thereof. It's like reverse rubber band, actually. But we'll see on some of the more crazy tracks. That's the thing, I've never played this before. I haven't practiced a single track, so I don't know. I mean, Mute City doesn't really count because it's, it's as easy as it gets, but... F-Zero games are not easy. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. Could resort to post-commentary if it starts to get bad or whatever. Casino Palace. That's where we just were doing the capsule thing, wasn't it? But yeah, it's cool. I've always kind of... I've seen this game when I went to visit my friend. I think it was technically his younger brother's game. <laughs> like, I could almost picture one of his younger brothers whenever I was over there, just him being stupid and be like, Hey, Billy! You gonna get with that F-Zero? Or whatever, like, because whatever the music was doing in that cutscene. That's clearly corny as crap, but it's funny to make fun of or whatever. Alright, so one path was shields, the other path was boost. So I guess I accidentally chose correctly for the first level. We don't even have manual boost power. You got boost power! I missed the other announcer, too. Wash your back! That's what he always said every two seconds. Maybe that I don't miss. We're going left. I got the right. Don't fly too low. Your ship can't take it. I can easily see Star Fox characters doing this in a spin-off F-Zero thing. You could have the characters exchanging banter the whole way through. Like this? This is fast, but it's not... At least on these novice ones that are wide open like this. 
I can maintain focus and just kind of casually sit back and hold the button down. Unlike F-Zero X, where I was gripping that controller tight, man. But I know this one gets brutal. Like, everybody I've talked to has said this game is tough. So... If you did watch my F-Zero X Let's Play, you may know I didn't even cover the Master difficulty. Because it took so much effort to finally beat Expert. So this one might even be less because I have no practice with it. Sand Ocean. Oh no. I think it's starting to chug a little bit. Oh yeah, it definitely is. Well, you're going to have to bear with it with me, I guess. There's nothing I can do. There's probably some settings in the Dolphin emulator I can uncheck. Because when I covered Sonic Adventure 2 Battle... When I got to the cosmic space stuff, there was one particular room where I had to stop and uncheck a... B wow, that, that's really bad. But yeah, I had to uncheck a box before I could continue through the rest of the stage because it would just crawl much like it just did. This is a reason why I haven't yet to do a Twilight Princess randomizer as well. I could probably pull it off, but it might be something like this. But if it's only crazy tracks that have a lot of outdoor effects like this, let's see, that's the thing, especially in the deeper cups, the late cups, how crazy are the tracks going to get? I don't know. It might turn into like a one, two, maybe three video series. Maybe just the novice difficulty? I don't know. So I apologize for the sound. I'll try to figure something out or just deal with it. I'm currently anxiously awaiting my phone to buzz. Because there's rumors that there's another PlayStation 5 restock happening starting today and the rest of the week. It's Wednesday right now. So Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday it's expected. And it's coming up on that time where they usually go in stock. And I'm ready for it this time. Because this is kind of just a filler thing that I'm doing. Mostly because of the F-Zero news on Switch, how it's March 11th, coming to, uh, well, by the time you're watching this, it'll already be out on Nintendo Switch Online. Oh, jeez, don't lose it now. Crashing into the walls. I mean, it's just a dead straightaway, though. This is that crazy left hug on the donut. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Oh, here it is. The heck is that thing? Just noticed that this lap jumping out of the sand. Don't crash! Okay, we're good. Alright, so Sand Ocean is no good. Maybe from now on, if we if we do bump up to like standard or whatever. Maybe I'll just omit this track from now on if it's going to stutter like that every time. Lightning Loop Cross. I don't know what's the best thing for the tracks. Max speed, acceleration. Oh no, the lightning might slow it down too. Let's see. Actually, it seems alright for now. I like the lights on these things. That's pretty cool. I would gladly play another one of these on the Switch. And especially if they do a Star Fox spin-off or whatever. I only talk about that so much because it was a rumor. And I, like I said, just played Star Fox Command and got that ending that's related to the F-Zero circuit. This is a good man, we're in last. We need boost power. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I got a Patreon poll. It looks like Luigi's Mansion's probably gonna win, which is fine. We play in that, but I had a bunch of PlayStation stuff on that poll too. And I'm excited mostly to replace my PlayStation 4, which you may know has been kind of performing weird. Jeez, did I get anybody? No, there's still 30 racers in there. That's always one of my favorite things in these games, destroying the other cars, especially this rival tagged one. Because if you destroy him, you got a good chance of maintaining your top position, even if you come in not first. This will be the track, since I'm trailing this bad. We have to see if it does exactly what it did on N64, where they all suddenly fall back to give me a chance to place first at the end. Because that was a novice-only thing. But yeah, already I find the music less memorable. No! Stop crashing into crap! They are definitely dropping back a little bit. Uh, I don't know how close we are, though. Yeah, look at this. I was in last that whole time. Finish. That siren noise when you're almost dead. Speaking of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, how many times did you hear that in the space levels? The little caution signs as you're about to end approach a rail or something. It's just funny the sound effects that, the, that they reuse on a console. Aeropolis Multiplex. Is that thunder? If a big loud thunder just got picked up, I apologize. I got headphones on, so I can't really tell. But it has been storming. I wonder if we can fall off of this one. It kind of looks like it has jumps. But yeah, it's crazy, all the ideas that are there, man. When you combine the fact that... Alright, let's talk about it. Starlink Battle for Atlas, right? That Star Fox game that people praise that is not a Star Fox game. Just like that was not a thing I was supposed to drive into just now. That was inspired by No Man's Sky, right? Which did get better after they patched it and stuff. And you got this whole universe between both the games. F-Zero, which, all right, it's mostly just racing. But then you got the Lilat system for Star Fox? You're telling me you can't have interplanetary races in like a combination of open world, flying the R-Wing around, and then every now and then participating, kind of like uh, the Horizon games or something, where like you just get to some kind of landmark and it triggers a race. You'd race around Zonus, Aquas, all these things. And it is very possible to combine these two things. That was cool, though. But again, very just like, up you go and down you go. No crazy noise. Might as well. It kind of felt like a pillow. Whereas on N64, it was like... You made like crazy noises and like slammed you all over the place. Here, it's just like... Do, 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 do. I don't know. GameCube versus N64, man, you gotta go back. Technology was better in the past. It's still cool, though. I just figure everybody's on about F-Zero X, and I already covered it, so what am I gonna do? Derek like an old man, apparently. I don't know why it came out like that. But yeah, if I can replace my PS4 and upgrade some of those games, some of the ones that I put on there that I was going to cover next, I could play their PlayStation 5 variant instead, which is so much better. But that's all just assuming that this restock happens. Because right now, I'm, I'm acting like it is going to happen, but I don't know. This is a cool track. I like it. Like the chorus, not the music. The music's all right. It kind of reminds me of Time Splitters or something. 
Definitely fits more of that techno thing I was talking about. I, I knew I wasn't losing my mind when I said that. Got the hang of this lap, too. Nothing to it. That was the last one, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that crossing the finish line music that's like -ka 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 it kind of sounds like ssx3 or tricky wave race blue storm and just like all those whatever games i guess it's just a racing thing look this too compare this music to the very exact same sequence on f0x on n64 Just minor things. The F Zero cars themselves, though, have always looked pretty cool. I don't know how much I'm gonna mess with the garage thing that we just saw in the menu, but uh, that would be a cool thing too. Design your own vehicle and character. Although when you inject a create a character into a universe full of characters you're always you always have that letdown where you're just like a generic no response person like their story can't evolve based on your actions you know because they're just like a poster compared to the other people who are actual characters kind of cool seeing them fully modeled in 3d instead of a photograph speaking of though do we get the photo Oh, uh, maybe that's a later difficulty only thing. That's right, it was standard on the N64 game. You didn't get the portrait, I don't think. What is this? What the heck? From the special F-Zero GP venue, we're broadcasting an interview with the Grand Prix champion. Okay then, I'd like to ask you something. Look at how they breathe. Select a question. Oh. Uh, congrats on your victory, I guess. Congratulations on your stunning victory. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without my fans. Thank you for the interview. <laughs> That's it, everyone. We'll see you what? at the next Grand Prix. Look at him breathing, man. All right, the cutscenes and everything is pretty Thanks ridiculous. But at the same time, I love it how bad it is. 15 tickets and rapid barrel. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. We'll have to see about all that stuff. I kind of just want to progress through the story a little bit. And uh, do the usual Grand Prix stuff. I don't know still where to purchase that story thing that said it was available. Highly exclusive thing. That's what you think would be there, but let's check this. Oh, there's that rapid barrel thing for five tickets. I have no idea what that does. Like, do you just add it on to a car? Or... I'll have to look that up. And the Pico thing's not here because he's already available. I could buy somebody else, though. We have the 12 for James McLeod. That's cool. Maybe we'll play as him next. Him or Biorex. kind of want to, even though I should probably save it. 10. Hopefully 10's enough if I can find wherever the thing is. But if not, it's okay to... Oh, that's right, the dog. For seven tickets, we gotta get that blue Wizu machine. Night Thunder, I used to play as him a lot too. Some interesting dudes and cars here. It's kinda cool that you can just unlock them. I wonder if you can keep on playing the easy mode and get tickets every time. Or if it's gonna force you to play the harder difficulties. Cause that's how you unlock stuff in the other one. Either way, I'm stalling. Um, 
yeah, that's all we're gonna do this video. So thank you guys for watching. Actually, you know what? Let's buy Octo Man. I remember he was really good. BBC is a good car. Oh, garage is a whole separate thing, like a dynasty mode file or something. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that. Yeah, all right. Well, thank you for watching, you guys. I don't know how many more of these there's gonna be, but there is gonna be, but yeah, anyway, thank you. Take care.